Hey, it's Karen here with Gold Bio, and in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about satellite colonies. I'll talk about what they are, why they're problematic, what causes satellite colonies, and then at the very end, I'll have some tips on how to avoid them. So be sure to stick around. So what are satellite colonies? Well, here is an illustration of how you'll sometimes see satellite colonies appear on your plate. Satellite colonies are these small colonies that grow up around a larger colony. And the difference here is that your larger colony has taken up your plasmid, but these satellite colonies have not. And satellite colonies are a common issue when doing antibiotic selection. And what makes them a problem, for starters, is that these satellite colonies didn't take up your plasmid that has your resistance gene and your DNA insert. And then the next issue is that it can sometimes actually be really hard to tell your satellite colonies from your actual colony with insert. Sometimes you get a size difference, but sometimes you don't. So it's definitely better to stay away from satellite colonies or anything that could be suspected of being a satellite colony. Satellite colonies are the result of beta-lactamases, which provide antibiotic resistance. The beta-lactamases are secreted from your transformed bacteria, and then these secreted beta-lactamases from your transformed cells then degrade the ampicillin around it, and non-transformed cells can then take advantage of this and grow. But don't worry, because we do have some tips on how to avoid satellite colonies. First tip is just making sure you don't incubate your plate longer than 16 hours. And this is probably the most important tip when it comes to avoiding satellite colonies. Our second tip is just to use fresh sterilized growth medium without antibiotics. And then you can just add your antibiotic to the plate before growing your colonies. Make sure though that the plate is cooled down enough before you add that antibiotic. The next tip is just to use the antibiotic concentration recommended on your protocol to prevent those unwanted colonies. And then using a higher concentration of ampicillin than recommended may also reduce the presence of satellite colonies. So if you are getting satellite colonies, you might just wanna bump up that concentration and see if you can prevent them that way. Tip number four is to check that the temperature of your growth medium isn't too hot when adding your antibiotic because it can ruin your antibiotic if it is too hot. You want that temperature range to be between 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. And then tip five, if you're doing beta-lactam antibiotic selection, you can actually use carbenicillin, which is another beta-lactam antibiotic, as an alternative to ampicillin. Carbenicillin is more stable and less susceptible to inactivation compared to ampicillin, which then reduces the formation of those satellite colonies. And then my final tip would be just to use a new stock of antibiotic to be certain that your antibiotic is still effective. And then that's it. That's a little bit about satellite colonies and how to avoid them. Be sure to check out the links below because I do have some additional resources there to help out. If you like this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and subscribing for more content. And definitely check out goldbio.com to access high quality reagents and other helpful resources. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care.